Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are standing here with my 91 Nissan hard body and we are going to be walking around two different Bentley shows. The first night is uh, just a regular night and then the second half of the vid is a antique street rod 1950 pre-vid. So hang out and we're going to go walk around and see some of the cars that showed up. Start off, I wanted to walk around this nice little uh, GMC Jimmy. Call color match interior too. That's a neat color to have inside and outside your vehicle. And it's a, I want to say a, it's a four wheel drive. A little four wheel drive Jimmy. That's pretty sweet. Square body. Oh, wait, what year is it? 78. It's a 70s too, which is even cooler. Most of the time I see them, they're usually the 80s, but we got the round headlights up front. So that was the fast indication that it was the late 70s. And it looks to be like this roof comes off on the back here, which is pretty sweet, honestly. Especially for a day like today, it's pretty hot out. Check this out. I believe it's a little 911 turbo. It's got that turbo wing. Beautiful Carrera. And I think it's a full, like, soft top. Beautiful little car. This is pretty cool. We have a 66 buggy over on this side. And actually, something cool I noticed is a lot of little uh, intricate things. They look uh, just kind of custom. You got the little headlight grills. The fog lights are additions with little grills of their own the mirrors coming down the body lines i love the luggage rack as well this looks like some vintage uh, suitcases strapped up there the old chest pretty cool i've always loved these and I, I always mention i love that little rack down there hidden by your feet oh and i never noticed the pedals come from the floor instead of hanging from you know up in the firewall which is a real interesting this little side window tweaks out you got some uh shades back there Real cool, real interesting. And I like the color too. It's really unique. Pretty cool little Volkswagen buggy for you. Cool, a little bit of a sleeper. 79 Delta 88 over on this side. And uh, a couple cool things about this actually. Uh, the owner was just telling me over the winter, he just swapped in some newer generation Monte Carlo interior. And I think it fits really, really well in this car. It has been LS swapped, but something very interesting about this car is it started its life out as a diesel. I know uh, in the 80s, diesel is uh, pretty cheap. I know this is a 79, but all about that era. So I figured, uh, you know, being that diesel is cheaper and more efficient, that's probably why they made the Delta 88 as a diesel, but I didn't even know that was an option, which is uh, pretty sick. All custom uh, gauges down there and they look good. Here's a pretty unique truck for y'all. This is a custom made four door long bed Ford F350 now. I believe it started its life out as a 250. If I had read that right, there's a little bit of a build sheet here. I'll walk over in case anybody wants to pause and read. But as we walk around the truck, you'll notice that this is a full four door with an eight foot bed, which is on a 2005 Dodge chassis. So it's got the Cummins in there. So it's the Fummins now, essentially. But uh, it works really, really well. The bed is super unique. It's uh, from a 61 Ford and it's got this kind of compartment built into the side which i thought was pretty unique do you have any like you have you must have a lift on the dodge chassis no that's just factory chassis wow that's pretty cool you want to lift it wow i was saying it sits good it sits high so i'm, I'm surprised i love this cab a little wing in the back just, all just kind of built in a little texture but it's cool seeing a four-door of these nonetheless so pretty unique this caught my eye pretty fast i believe it's a like 80s k20 chevy pickup pretty good size lift on this thing though and uh something i something that really caught my eye though is this two-tone it's very subtle if you're if you're not looking for it you might not notice it but it's almost got this like i don't even know what color it's like a brownish kind of maroon with a black on the lower half nice cow hood and visor too i love the trucks with the visors that is a that's pretty sweet then we got lexus's beautiful 97 four door long bed ford f350 over here had to grab some clips of it obviously it's in our driveway but still love to grab the vids this is a beautiful example of a 69 chevrolet chevelle ss powered by the 396 and if you see up here i love this looks like a old school state inspection sticker on this car with a black leather interior love all the ss interior walking down the car it has the aluminum slots beautiful red so this is pretty cool over here we got a nice stretched 32 ford rat rod 
I thought it was like the coupe sedan. It's kind of got like what you would have thought would have been a four door, but it's just the two door. It's got some suicide doors, very, very custom. I love the way these wheels sit when it's aired out. Have to imagine maybe some sort of Ford engine because the distributor's still in the front there. But check this thing out. All looks all hand built. Someone put some serious time into making this and having fun with it. Pretty sweet to see. And the white walls too. Look how big these white walls are. So so sick. Bentley's little buggy. Listen to that thing. I've never heard a three wheeler with an exhaust on it. That's so sick. Makes a good little go-kart. Look at this, I believe this is Wayne Carini's uh, Cadillac powered Allard. This is pretty sweet. This is pretty sick. It's a Ferrari Dino 308 GT4. Not too, too familiar with it, so I figured we'd walk around it together and learn a little about it. It's a, uh, it's a V8 actually back here. Looks to be, um, let's do a little walk around. Looks to be like it's possibly just NA. Pretty neat. I didn't know the Dino ran to these later years. I thought it was just that one early, like I think it's the 60s body style. Beautiful yellow and black. Very classic. Super cool. I love the back seats back here. Might be a little tough to fit, but tons of room up front. Little gated uh, six speed. Five, actually, five speed manual. Sunroof. I love the way the lid opens in the back end. It's got pop-ups, which is pretty sick. Cool little car to see. This is awesome. It's a 1930s Ford Roadster pickup. I believe it's a Model A. Well, uh, oh, that's cool. Got a nice, like, 60s Mustang engine in there. Beautiful wood dash. I love the wood bed as well. The colors are sick. The contrast is awesome. And this is a 2001 Ferrari 550 Marinello, if I pronounce that right. It is powered by a V12 that actually sits in the front of the car. It makes uh, 485 horsepower from factory. Nice leather seats. Love the, that's a gated six speed down there. Super beautiful. This is a pretty sick 1957 Chevy over here. I actually didn't realize this car was LS swapped. It is bagged, he's got the halos. I mean, he's really gone through it with this beautiful, beautiful paint. It's pretty cool too. It's just uh, all paint back here as well. It is a, uh, oh, it's a pillarless two door. Six speed manual trans. Oh, I love these cars. Windows down and everything. It gives it a good, good look. Love these cars, but it's just uh, real nasty seeing these. And what is it? Uh, oh, we got the Foos wheels. Pretty neat. Wow, this, this uh, I don't know if you can see the flake, but when I run down it, it is like a rainbow flake. You can't see it on camera, I guess, but it's a little purple and gold. Pretty cool. The old Dodge Rat Rod pickup rolling in on the Oldsmobile hubcaps. Love it. Oh, well, there it goes. <laughs> hey, hey. Super cool build. This is a very cool sleeper 1934 Pontiac on this side of the show. I love it. The spare is here. These wheels are absolutely beautiful with the white walls and that baby blue in there. When you come in here and the interior is just original. I love the glass and the steering wheel with the blue uh, Indian head in there. Literally all patinaed out. The plate is Pontina. And then it gets super cool when you come into here and it's like all custom chassis, the four link in here. You got the rotors uh, centered towards the differential, the fuel cell, I mean, it's just super well done. But I mean, an absolutely gorgeous car. Right over here is what I believe is a 32 Ford Roadster. Nice drop top. And uh, it is powered by a flathead V8. This really caught my eye. All the colors are beautiful. This is sick. It's a, yeah, it's a 32. So sick. Another really cool 49 Mercury rolling by. I love the custom vents in the hood. It has a chalk. Still the four door. Very cool, man. French to tails. It's cool seeing the custom Mercs. Love the vintage Ferrari sounds.
and then probably one of my favorite cars to exist this is our friend peter's 1949 mercury three window coupe it originally started its life out as a four-door tons of crazy stuff done to this car it is a uh, got the five to six inch shop three inch channel and it's body dropped has been swapped over to a coyote engine with a manual transmission the cadillac wheel thunderbird interior like one of my favorite cars to exist i love this i'll do a million walk arounds on this all shaved tail lights i mean there's so much to to walk around and talk about on this car but even cooler he won the 1950s pre hot rod street rod show tonight so pretty sick to see and a good way to end off today's bentley's clips and i'll see you all in the next one